What's up everybody? Happy Tuesday. We have finally made it. We are finally to my number one favorite window manager on my top five window managers on Linux series. Now, these are my top five. This doesn't mean I'm saying these are the best top five for everybody. My opinion is my opinion. You might agree with it. You might disagree with it. I'm not here to bash any window managers that aren't on my list. And I'm not here to say that these ones are better for your use than what you are actually using. I'm just saying these are the ones that in my experience that I've used that I find, <clears throat> excuse me, um, the best for me. So that being said, this is number one. Um, we've gone through five, number four, number three, and number two up until this point. Um, if you haven't caught those videos, I recommend you go back to my window managers playlist and check those other ones out. Um, I will spoil it for you right now though. Number five was Spectre WM. Number four was DWM. Number three was Xmonad. Number two was Qtile. And now I say that when Qtile jumped up Qtile was going to be number five. Um, I'd used Qtile for a while and, you know, played around with it, but never gotten into it too deep. Um, so it was going to be my number five. It jumped all the way to number two with how spectacular I found out it was. And I'm going to be honest with you, it almost hit number one. It almost took the top spot away from this window manager. And if you've watched my channel for any period of time, you might already know what my number one window manager is. You might be able to look at my bar and tell what my number one window manager is. I just want to say thank you to those of you who did know, uh, who made little comments in the comment sections on my other ones, but didn't spoil it for anybody. Um, I want to say thank you very much for that. Um, but that being said, let's just kind of tear the bandaid off. The number one window manager for me, in my opinion, is Herbst Luft. Now, <clears throat> I say that and I tell you that Qtile almost overtook it. It did. Qtile was a great window manager and it almost took out my number one, but it just couldn't quite do it. And part of that is because I've grown very fond of Herbst Luft. Um, I've uh, really come to know how to use it. There's still a lot for me to learn about it and a lot of stuff that I haven't even uh, broached yet with it. But um, as far as a window manager that I can rely on, that I haven't had issues with breaking, that I haven't had issues with configuring, that I haven't had issues with anything on, really, Herb's Lift has just been stellar. It is solid as a rock for me personally. Again, you might have a different experience, but for me personally, it has been solid as a rock. No breaking, no issues, no just failure to work. It's just constantly perfect. It just is perfect in my personal opinion. Now I say perfect. There is a few things that I would change about it. I'm going to go over a couple of those here in this video. Uh, there's some things that I would like to see that it doesn't have, but overall based on configuration, customization, and documentation, Herb's Lift is just an amazing stellar window manager that does not, in my opinion, get nearly enough love. Um, you see these big guys like DistroTube, um, Derek, no, no offense here, but I really think you highly underestimate Herb's Lift and the value of Herb's Lift and the customizability and the usability of Herb's Lift. Um, Matt uh, from the Linux cast, um, I know you've uh, talked about Herb's Lift and just kind of give it, given it a meh. Um, I really think if you guys spent any quality, significant amount of time in Herb's Lift and got yourself familiarized with it, I think your opinion might rise. I'm not saying it would be your favorite window manager, but I think your opinion of it would rise. And I think anybody that is willing to give it a shot um, and actually live in Herb's Lift um, is going to realize um, just how... Uh, great of a window manager it is. So that being said, let's go ahead and jump over into documentation real quick. Documentation, in my opinion, on Herb's Lift. Let's go to my second workspace here. Um, I have my uh, Firefox browser open, and I have Herb's Lift's uh, web page up, and it's just herbsliftwm.org. I've gone over the documentation before, so I'm not going to get into this real deep, but um, it gives you a little brief what is it, um, how to get it, how to use it, um, it's got some community support and it's got a few little screenshots down here. Nothing too big. Um, we've got some FAQs over here um, that if we click on, um, you can go down the list here. Um, use scripts, don't restart. Um, just a lot of stuff that are that's real common that people ask. Um, a lot of stuff that um, I had issues with at first I found right here in the uh, FAQs. Um, you can download it here. And then we've even got some user contributions. Not a whole lot, but there's some user contributions here. Um, 
but then we get here to this tab, which is the documentation. And the documentation has news, it's got migration, it's got a tutorial, it's got objects, it's got Herb's Lift to them, and it's got Herb's Client. Now, if you've watched my channel for any period of time, you'll know when I talk about Herb's Lift, one of the things that it has kind of in common with BSPWM is they both use a client. Um, like when you want to call something, when you want to do something in Herb's Lift, you're not calling Herb's Lift, you're calling to a client that then takes care of whatever you're trying to do. Um, so we can click on that and it gives you a brief um, kind of explanation of Herb's client. Um, very um, basic. Um, we've got Herb's Lift right here, which if you click on that, this is a little bit more in depth. Um, you've got your frame index, your tags, your monitors. It goes over commands, um, goes over uh, keybinds. It goes over just all kinds of stuff, cycling through stuff, cycling through windows, um, split alignment, um, it just, there's just so much here to read, uh, and go over that, uh, it would just take you a long time to sit here and go through everything. Um, you can click on objects tab here, objects, we have string in string United bool. So we've just got, uh, a little bit of uh, information here, uh, going over panels and settings, um, just all kinds of things. So uh, we've got tags, um, your theming. It's, this is all the stuff that kind of makes your, your window manager your own here. Um, you've got a tutorial, which gives you the basic installation, the usage of the client, uh, the tiling method, the tags, multi-monitor handling. So it basically covers anything you might need to know to actually get up and going um, and get this system set up the way you want it. Um, again, uh, I'm not going to go too deep into documentation on this just because there's so much of it and it's... Um, it's, it's done pretty well. Uh, I will say one thing that Qtile does better than Herb's Lift is the documentation. I still say uh, Qtile has spectacular documentation, but I'm not knocking Herb's Lift's documentation because it is very, very well done. You can also click over here and go to their GitHub page, um, Herb's Lift one. Herb's Lift WM <laughs> uh, GitHub page, and you can go through here if you actually install it this way. Uh, you have it'll give you some actual scripts you can use. Um, you will have uh, these are actually the scripts here. You can see I'm in the scripts directory, so let's go back to Herb's Lift. Um, you've got some scripts that you can use, uh, and it gives you down here. Uh, you can read the install file to know how to install it there. If you click on these links here, it'll take you back to the main page, the home page that we were just on, and then the tutorial page. Um, so the documentation, and you've got themes in here that you can go through, uh, separate tabs, white, red tabs. Um, there's just all kinds of different stuff that you can find going through the documentation for Herb's Lift. Now, again, I'm not going to get into it too deep because there's so much there and I've gone over it a bit before in another video, but just covering the fact that documentation is one of the main things I look for in a window manager and the documentation on Herb's Lift is very well done. Again, it's not the best I've seen, but it is very well done um, and it is pretty easy to find anything that you need to find to figure out what's going on. So that being said, let's go back to my uh, desktop here or my uh, <laughs> empty tag here, my empty workspace, and let's go ahead and launch a terminal. Let's zoom in a little bit. We're going to CD into Herb's Lift, and then you can see it's in home, jake.config, Herb's Lift, WM. And if I do an LS, I've got a lot going on. Let's do an LS-1. Um, you can see I've got all my auto start. I've got my Herb's Lift WM themes. I've got my keys file. I've got my layouts file or directory, excuse me. I've got my polybar themes and my polybar config. I've got my couple scripts in here. Um, and I've got my, excuse me, one second. I've got my, <coughs> <coughs> sorry about that. I've got my wallpaper and I've got another file called window rules. And then I also have XMobar down here because if you didn't know, you can run Herb's Lift using XMobar. Um, I've got a video coming out after this series, a couple more things that I really like about Herb's Lift. Um, so stay tuned for those, but I'm going to be covering that a bit as well. So let's go ahead and vim into the auto start. Now this is just your basic auto start. This is going to be what um, <clears throat> starts up when you're loading into Herb's Lift. And you can see it's got all my auto start programs right here. Um, and so it does all that. But then I have it basically sourcing everything else. Um, like I said in my Qtile video, um, being able to separate things out into different files to be able to find things easier. I just kind of like that. It de I guess it kind of clutters the directory, but unclutters the file. So it's just easier for me to look for like a key binding if I know it's in its own certain file. So um, I have everything broken out and sourced. So I have my keys file for my keys, my themes file for my theming, my window rules file for window rules. Um, 
So I just have everything kind of broken up into its own separate file. So let's go ahead and quit out of here and we'll vim into keys. And you can see that this is just all my key bindings. So I've got all my key bindings set up. It's pretty easy. Just HC, which is um, um, Herb's client, um, key bind. And then you have your key press, basically. Mod Shift C is going to spawn Alacrity with my logout menu. Um, HC keybind XF86 mon brightness up. That's going to spawn while well, I use Lux, but i um, going to go through and uh, do like my brightness on my monitor, my volume, all that stuff. Um, I've got mod W is going to spawn BGD, which will change my background. Um, mod control Y for YouTube subs. It's uh, just shows me how many YouTube subs I have. Um, I have a video out on this conk toggle.sh script. So mod C is going to spawn conk toggle, which will actually uh, split my window and show my conky, which um, I'm not big into conky, but I just thought it was kind of something that is interesting and people might like. Um, so yeah, it just goes through here and set all my key bindings here. This sets your tags right here. Um, so like my tag names are one through nine. So tag keys are one through nine. And then if you do mod, key plus the whatever one two three five six seven eight nine it'll move to that workspace and if you do mod shift that it will move the window to that workspace so just like any other tiling window manager now let's go ahead and exit out of keys and we will um, go into uh, win rules um, this has all my window rules for like my scratch pads and my floating windows and stuff like that. So I have my launch menu, my VSP2 menu, my configs menu, my windows menu, my logout menu, my V machine menu, and my theme select menu. Um, I've also got my scratch pads right here, my scratch pad, my file manager, my cute browser, my email, my music, and my to-do list. And so that just tells location and geometry of the windows. So that's kind of cool there. So let's go ahead and quit out of that. Um, and then if we actually CD into um, HLWM themes and we do an LS, you can see we've got a theme there. So if I vim into theme, you can see this just sets my theme up. So my window borders, um, my border colors, my gap sizes, stuff like that. Um, this is all set up in this file right here. <clears throat> now, one of the cool things about theming on Herb's Lift, like I've said before, if I launch my... Um, my scratch pad here, you can see I've got two borders. I've got an inner border, which is white, and I've got an outer border, which is kind of the red color. Now, if I only have one window open, I have no gaps and I have no border. But if I open a second window, you can see I now have two different uh, windows. I have gaps. I have two borders. On my active window, I have white and blue. And on my inactive window, I have white and black. So if I switch windows you can see that blue outer border changes so that's just one of the ways that you can highly customize um, Herb's Lift. Now you can change the size of those two different borders you can change the gap in between the border colors you can change there's just a lot you can do with the border colors and stuff like that to make theming on Herb's Lift uh, just that much better. Now the other thing you can do is if we open the scratch pad here and I say uh, let's see Herb's client and if we do Oops, Herb's, there's a T in there. Herb's client, and we do, um, <clears throat> was it set? Not set settings. Oh, so if we do set window underscore border underscore active underscore color red, you remember that active border color was blue, correct? Well, if I just go ahead and run this command, and I hit enter, and now I click on this, you can now see that that active border color has been switched from red to blue, or from blue to red. So if I go back, and I do that again, and let's say I do 000... zero, zero um, actually, zero zero eight zero eight zero. Oh, not enough argument, so it's not going to let me do. So let's do blue. I thought maybe I could do it by color, but you can't. So now I'll go there, and now it's blue. So you can change the theming actually on the fly, which is kind of cool. So you want to change your border color of your active window um, from red to green to blue. You can do that all without having to go in and change your configuration file. Now when I boot back in to Herb's Lift, it will be back to the color that is in my configuration file. But again, this is just one of those things you can do on the fly if you just want a little bit of a change, um, but don't want to lose your current configuration. So just another cool thing about Herb's Lift that is just kind of neat and um, another reason I love it because it's so um, amazing the things it allows you to do.
Um, so that is the configuration file and setting up the configuration file. The customization and everything of Herb's Lift is just amazing. There's so much you can do. Like I said, you can run XMobar from it. You can run Polybar from it. Um, it's just extensible in that in that range as well. Um, the documentation is great. The way the whole system, the the whole uh, program works is is really cool as well. Um, being able to uh, change your configuration file and reload on the fly. Um, change your configuration file as I just showed you with the Herb's client command to actually change window color, border colors. Um, you can do that. That doesn't affect your configuration file. Um, it's just an amazing window manager that uh, has not let me down one time, that I have not been displeased with at any point in time. I love being able to play with it and mess around with the configuration file. Um, just add scripts for whatever I want. Um, and Herb's Lift just seamlessly uh, implements all of it and um, is just amazing. Now, there's a couple things I've told you before in other uh, window manager videos that my favorite layout is master and stack. Now, when I use a window manager, master and stack is the way I go. The one thing that um, I dislike, I guess, about Herb's Lift is master and stack is not an option. Um, if I launch, I have columns like this or rows. I guess now these would be columns. And then if I do mod mod space then I have a full screen and if I do mod space again I have this which is decent um, I do like this layout and then if I do mod space again I have rows and then we're back to the columns so if you want to master and stack you'd basically have to do a split so if I did mod O that's going to split the screen this way and then I want to be on this side and then we'll do launch that there and then I want to do one below it so I'd have to do mod U and then I would have to launch oops like that and so I could do a master and stack but it just takes a little bit more work to do it which I'm gonna cover something in my next video on Herb's Lift that might help out with that um, I just got to figure it out and see if it will work but I do have a video coming up with a few things that might actually address this issue for me this this one concern that I have with Herb's Lift but that being said it's not a massive concern because like I've said before as well when I have windows open on a workspace it's usually no more than two maybe three windows at any given time on any workspace uh, if I have more than that I just start loading them up on a different workspace. Um, I don't like too cluttered of a screen. I don't have to cycle like to have to cycle through too much stuff. So while I say not having the master and stack is a downside to Herb's Lift, um, the fact that it, the fact of the matter is, it's really not that big of a downside. Um, would I prefer it had it? Absolutely. Am I upset that it doesn't? Did it knock it out of number one? Absolutely not. Herb's Lift is just by far my favorite window manager in the fact that it is easily customizable. It is easily used. It is a small footprint and it is just super fun to configure and set up and there's so much you can do with it. So that being said, if you have not tried Herb's Lift, um, I highly suggest you check it out. If you have tried it, but haven't given it enough love, I really suggest you check it out again. Um, I, I can't stress enough that um, I really don't think this window manager gets enough credit. I mean, it is a great, great window manager. It is able to keep up with the best of them, in my personal opinion. So that being said, that's kind of my... Uh, overview of my top five window managers. Again, Spectrum WM number five, DWM number four, Xmonad number three, Qtile number two, and my love, my favorite, Herb's Luft at number one. There to stay. Qtile almost knocked it out, but Herb's Luft hung on because it is just an amazing window manager. That being said, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. If I don't get another video out before Christmas, I hope you have a great Christmas, great New Year. Um, just get some uh, time to relax, decompress, spend some time with friends and family. And just remember, Jesus is the reason for the season. Love you guys all. God bless.